our guys have, have a, a, a big time mindset set, and that's what it's about. Uh, this team, as, as we get try to improve every week, we want the you, you know obviously you want to uh, stop them, but as an offense, you got to have the mindset: good, give us the ball, give us a chance, and we'll go down there and close it out. And so that's what it was. And uh, credit to the old line; it's good protection. Matt delivered the football, and Kyle made two big time plays. Um, he made some big time plays all day. Well, it's two really good players. You know, Howard made a good play on a third down. Um, you know, we get, we get ball bounced around, and he, he he came down with it. He's a good player. Uh, there's good players every Sunday. Uh, D led in the NFL. You know that. I know that. But it, what it, what it really says is about Kyle Pitts' mindset and the belief that obviously Matt Ryan, the quarterback, has in him. He gets better every week. And like I said, I, those are those are big time players. Those are two two big time players going at it. And Kyle came down with it. So. Uh, Credit to, uh, to our guys, but the Dolphins, they fought. Brian Flores is a hell of a coach. We knew they'd come down, they'd be ready to go. And, and Josh Boyer is a hell of a D coordinator. So we knew it was going to be a fight. And I'm glad we're getting out here with the win. How clutch the turnovers from uh, David and uh, Yeah, and that um, yeah, was huge. And, that, and that's, you know, that's being a team, D led. And that's what we got to be in all three phases. And obviously, we got to take care of the football. Credit to them. I mean, the ball bounced on Ridd, and, and like I said, Howard caught it, and, and, he, and he made a play. And the defense, the next play, go in there, and Grady makes a rush, and Foye, you know, steps in front of the ball, goes down. We take the ball, and we go down and score, and that's how you become a team. You play off each other, and that, that was a huge play, huge play in the game. Sorry, the music. I can get in their scheme, but he had the look he, he wanted and he took it. Yeah, I know you got to ask those questions. And again, I'm not trying to, to be evasive. I, I won't know until they see the doctor. Um, I, I, I don't want to give an answer and, and create any false narratives. We'll know more tomorrow when they see the doctor. Yeah, all they told me was they, you know, they called upstairs and they, they asked to see him. And so uh, we don't mess around with that. And so, you know, Got to find a way. So TJ Green goes out there, and then, you know, right at the end, Fabian had to come out. And guys got to step up. That's that's the name of the game, the NFL. I haven't seen the doctor, Michael. I'm not going to put words in my mouth. I, I don't know. So until I get to the doctor, all they tell me, this is how it goes in the game. You're calling a game, or, or you're up here. The trainer comes in, they call upstairs, and then he comes out and says he's out. I'm not sitting there asking for a whole, I got to call the next play. I got to call the next situation. And I'm not trying to be a, a smart aleck. That's just what it is. I'm not going to give you a false narrative. I won't know until we talk to the doctor. Pitts? Yeah, I mean, he's, that's why we took him with the fourth pick of the draft. I mean, there's no secrets there. He's a good football player. He's got the, the right mindset. You don't get caught up in the day-to-day -day roller coaster narratives. I mean, it's a big picture. I mean, and, and all he's done every week has gotten better, and he works. And he's unselfish. And we got a lot of unselfish guys in the locker room. Josh, number of plays overall, I don't know if they feel an emphasis coming out higher than it was. Well, a lot of that, Josh, you know, again, it depends what they're playing and, and, and how you're going through it. Uh, they came up and challenged us in a lot of men. And so you if they want to pack it inside and they're gonna they're gonna drop guys in and play in robber or they're gonna bracket things, they're gonna make you go outside. And so you better win outside and it's gonna be one on one. And and thankfully we were able to do it enough. To, to win today. And if they don't do that and they play in different zones, then it's going to take us off a read and somebody else got to win. And you may be a catch and run day. It just depends. It's a chess match you're going through. Very. I mean, that's what this league is. If you don't like that, that's probably not the job for you. And, um, you get you got to get used to used to that because that's what most of these games are going to come down to. That's the way that the league's structured. It's very competitive, the most competitive league in all professional sports. In my biased opinion, and more times than not, they're going to come down and you got to handle situational football in the half in the games. I thought we did that. I thought we played off Hawks uh, interception. We go down, we get the field goal, come out and double them up. So we get the field goal in the half, open the half, get the touchdown, and then at the end of the game, obviously you want to hold them. 
Uh, again, we got to take better care of the football. Credit to them. They knocked the ball out of Matt right there. Uh, there's plenty of stuff. Like I got to tell you guys every Monday, you got to take a sober-minded approach and see what we got to do uh, to get better. But I thought we handled situational football well. That's what they're going to come down to. You got to get comfortable in it. Doesn't mean you're not going to feel something. I mean, we're all human, but you got to. That's why you train, and we got a lot of confidence in our guys. You got to have a short memory. It's the same thing as a play caller. I wish I could tell you I was going to, I was going to call nothing, but but uh, you know, perfect plays. You try to call more good plays and bad ones, and you got to have a reason why you're calling them. Not that you're just trying to play Madden here, but um, so you got to have a, the right mindset, and you got to you got to have some courage, and especially at the quarterback position. And and he does. Uh, he's a special player. I, I I personally think he's criminally underrated if you look at his career here in the National Football League. Well, it's a credit to everything. Like, you know, I think what I, a lot of misnomers in, in football is, you know, a guy gets here and, you know, one person wants to jump in front of the parade. Like, we have a really good football staff. So that goes back to our scouts that go on the road. And they don't get enough credit. They're kind of the, behind the scenes. And you get it, and you got to come as a, as a staff. You do a ton of work, you know, Terry and his staff and the coaches. And you got to have the right people where you don't have the egos in here and you're trying to see what's best for our football team. And then going through that process, and you got, we do, we got good scouts, um, especially in the Southeast. And we, we all came to watch him. And you go through the interview and you do the background. And he's rare. I mean, he just turned 21. And, and, and that's, that's huge because when you put a fourth pick on somebody, there's a lot of expectations. And I've seen some guys not be able to handle it. But fortunately, Kyle has. He's exactly who we thought he was. And he's got to continue to improve. We all do. Uh, so, I don't think enough credit goes around, you know. I think a lot of people try to get in front of the parade, but we got a really good football staff and it's very collaborative and so it's a credit to a lot of people. And then obviously the ultimately the player. With uh, this offensive line with Texas Mass over the last few weeks, I mean, what, what can you kind of say about their evolution Yeah, uh, they got a lot of confidence. Uh, again, Coach uh, Dwayne Ledford, Chandler Henley, they do a hell of a job. Um, like, again, you guys even noticed, I mean, Jason Spriggs was out there. Spriggs is a pro. Goes out there, grinds through it. That's what happens in NFL. When you're playing 17 games, you're going to have guys step up. And again, it goes back to the whole football staff. You know, getting the right guys in there. Those are those are valuable, underrated moves you make in training camp. And then they come here, here you are, you know, week seven, our sixth game of the year, and we need him to play. And he played well. So. It, it, it's it's big, yeah. Because you got to see, like, I, like I use that business analogy. You know, like we we felt our foundation was strong. We knew there were things we had to clean up. You can't lose perspective. Just that we hadn't turned a profit yet. So hopefully now, going to our earnings report, right there. And so we need to turn the profit. Hopefully next week. So, uh, and that's the name of the game. You just want to have it. You want to build. Clearly, you need to win. So these guys understand that's where the buy-in's huge. All right, we're, we're doing something different. Are we getting any, you know, any return on everything? You know, these guys work so damn hard. They bought in, and, and it's it's good to see it, and, and it's big for those guys. Yeah, it's been there's been. Um, that's why I can't say. I mean, coup. Like I had all the faith. I mean, I don't think my heart rate was felt pretty normal like it like it did if I was calling a play in the second quarter because he's been clutch. He did it in New York. And he did it again today on, on the road. So that's the whole operation. Josh Harris is a pro's pro. Uh, I mean, everybody. So good situational football. Well, it's the toughest position to play in all of pro sports. You know, it's it's the most overanalyzed. It's what makes this game fun. That's why I get paid a lot of money. Uh, I think it's probably the most misunderstood position, too. And a guy to do it and to have the production he's had year over year consistently. And then come in here and, and, and to lead this football team and to lead from it by example. You can coach Matt Ryan. And that's what these are the great players I've been around. I mean, obviously he's got confidence, but he, he's going to lead this football team and do it in the way that he's going to lead from the front. He's going to come to work every day, work hard. And 
there's just not many guys that have had the production he's done for a long time. I think in any, in any industry, when somebody sustains success, those are people I look at. And, uh, yeah, I, I've been pleased, and I, I feel fortunate to, to work with Matt. I know it from afar, but until you get to know somebody, there's a lot of uh, uh, preconceived notions maybe or, or whatever. But uh, And that relationship's still building, but, uh, but he's been awesome.